All right, guys, for this next video, I'm going to show you uh, using this new uh, DS8 clone drum uh, percussion synth that we have here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up where um, the trigger out from the TR606 is going to be triggering uh, the, D the, the, the DS8 and just show you some different sounds as that hooks up. So I'm going to turn up, um, right now I'm going to turn up uh, the, the drum machine. So you can hear my beat right here. Pretty simple little beat. Um, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what the the drum clone brings in there. What's kind of fun next is that I'm actually using the D, uh, excuse me, the, the TR606 to also trigger my sequencer here, my 16-step sequencer that we also have on our site, and that is going to give me some variation that we're going to we're going to plug into the CV now. This is the trigger input, which is coming off the drum machine here, um, out of the uh, the the low tom. This can come out of this can come out of the the CV out. The high tom is controlling the sequencer. Uh, and here we go. So let's kind of see how it varies the sound um, in with our sequencer. So we can turn these knobs to kind of adjust what we're doing. So I'll kind of show you what that sounds like. release and so it'll allow these steps to kind of come in and adjust the voltage into the CV part of here so anyway you can see it's a really multi-useful synth um, you can hook it up to your rig and it turns out cool it not only just adds some percussive sounds but you can also use it as uh, a synth to make some songs with and so anyway a little more jamming
All right, so we go. That's a demo. This kid is online. Radical thing. Thanks for watching.